friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Friday, so it's another weigh-in day. We're gonna talk about my week, set some goals for the upcoming week, and of course go over this week's WW workshop topic. So if you're excited for another Friday weigh-in video, give this one a huge thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and of course lets me know to keep putting out these weigh-ins every single week. Don't forget if you're new or you're watching and you haven't yet subscribed, join our community, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell next to it so you never miss a Friday weigh-in video or another video in general. Check out the description box down below where you're going to find my nutrition coaching website. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Whether you're on Weight Watchers or not, it is so important to know how many calories you should be eating every day as well as what should be your macronutrient goals. Things like carbs, fats, and protein. I can figure all of that out for you. You can order that service again on my website. You'll also see 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. If you're looking for just a little bit more one-on-one -on -one individualized support, I offer those as well. Also in the description box, you'll find links and discount codes to all of my very favorite things, as well as one free month on WW. If you're thinking about it or you haven't quite decided if you wanna join, there is a link down below where you will get one free month and in return, I also get one free month, so thank you in advance for using my link if you're on the fence on whether or not you want to join WW. You'll also find my Facebook group. We'd love to have you join that community as well. It's very supportive and loving and just a great place to be, so head on over and join us there. So we have a workshop topic to discuss, a way in to go over, and we need to set some goals because it is April. It is April. all had an absolutely fantastic week. As a lot of you know, we picked up our new puppy Palmer on Saturday, so it has been a very hectic, chaotic week for me. Lots of lack of sleep, lots of time spent getting him accustomed to Diesel and Lola. It's been quite the challenge. I actually have a video coming out here shortly. I vlogged the entire process of picking up Palmer, introducing him to Diesel and Lola, and kind of how he's been doing over the last week or so. So stay tuned for that video coming out shortly. As I mentioned in last week's weigh-in video, I decided that for the remainder of the month of March, I wasn't going to be tracking my food. This was to take one thing off of my plate with how busy I knew it would be having a new puppy. And let me just tell you up front, that was the best decision that I could have made. I barely have time to eat, more or less track my food. So it was such a great decision to just take that off of my plate and be able to focus on making healthy food choices, getting in my activity. And let me tell you, with a new puppy, I'm getting in more activity and more steps than ever. And also just really focus on making Palmer feel at home and introducing him and establishing a relationship with Diesel and Lola. So I'm grateful that I took that off my plate. I don't regret it at all. It's been very freeing and it's been much more relaxed when it comes to what I'm eating to not have to worry about tracking it. I will say that even though I'm not tracking my food, I seem to be even more mindful. And also the other thing that I've noticed, which has been a huge eye opener for me, is I think about food a lot less. Because I'm not tracking it, I just eat when I'm hungry and I make a good decision. I eat a portion of the foods that I'm having, whether it be considered healthy or unhealthy, and I move on with my day. So one thing I have noticed and one thing I've really been enjoying besides having to track and spend time doing that is the fact that I really just don't think about food as often. So if you're someone that doesn't track, let me know down in the comments if you've experienced the same thing where you just don't think about food as much. Besides being busy, the new puppy, not tracking my food, I did have a good week. And like I said, I've been getting in more steps than ever. So that has been great when it comes to my weight loss journey. But before I jump into my weight loss results for the week, let's talk about this week's WW workshop. This week's topic is the secret to being more active. We're going to use a term called temptation bundling when it comes to making us more active and moving our body just a little bit more. The definition of temptation bundling is pairing something you love with something you should or must do. So let's dive a little bit deeper into this. Studies show that when people actually do intentional activity or movement for pleasure, they're more likely to not only lose weight, but also to sustain their weight. 
but I get it. Not everybody loves working out, myself included. That's where temptation bundling comes in. This is where it can really help you out when it comes to getting in intentional movement. So you're going to take the I should list plus the I love list, and that's going to equal your temptation bundle. So here's an example of that. I should walk more often, or I should try a new workout class. Plus, I love listening to a podcast or catching up on the phone with a good friend. So match one from each of these lists to temptation bundle. I should walk more, and I love to listen to podcasts, so I will listen to a podcast as I go on my daily walk. So just remember, the I should list plus the I love list equals your temptation bundle, and this should get you moving just a little bit more. So now let's jump into this week's weigh-in and we'll set some goals moving into next week, which is April. I cannot believe you guys that we are starting the second quarter of 2021 already. So without tracking, with going out of town, with moving a little bit more because of a new puppy, when I stepped on the scale today, I'm actually down 0.2 pounds. I didn't expect to lose anything, to be honest. As you know, last week I maintained my weight. The other two weeks of the month, I lost a little bit. So the fact that I'm down an additional 0.2, I will absolutely take it. This is my last weigh-in for the month of March. So I'm going to put here on the screen my weight loss for the month. Now, it wasn't a lot, but I'm okay with that. Life happened in the month of March. A lot of things were thrown my way that were out of the ordinary. So the fact that I ended the month with any weight loss at all makes me extremely happy. And as you guys know, I don't live or die by the scale. Slow and steady wins the race in my opinion. So as long as at the end of the month, the scale is moving in the right direction, I'm a happy girl. So my goals moving into April and moving into this next week, primary forefront, the most important goal is to get back to tracking. So starting on April 1st, I am back to tracking my food. I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing when it comes to activity. I'm still doing jazzercise three times a week. Like I said, I've been moving a lot more, getting in a lot more steps every day day with having a new puppy because we're taking him out every couple of hours. We run around our yard. And if you didn't know, our backyard's about two acres. So there's a lot of space for the dog to run, for us to run. And I'm just getting in more neat, non-exercise activity thermogenesis, just moving my body throughout the day, which actually is more important to weight loss than intentional movement. So I'm excited that I'm getting in that non-activity related movement during the day. And I'm attributing that to the little bit of weight that I lost this week is just getting getting in a little bit of extra movement. You will see in my video when we picked up Palmer that we ate fast food, we ate dinner out. There was no holds barred on what we were eating. We had to eat out. I had to make the best choices that I could, but I also wanted to enjoy my last meal before a new puppy. So back to tracking, back to seeing the scale move in the right direction, hopefully every week during the month of April. And as part of my spring challenge over on my Facebook group, we have a water challenge for April, and that is to drink at least a half of a gallon of water every day. As you guys know, I drink more like a gallon every day, so that is my goal moving into April, is to continue to drink my gallon of water every single day. So now I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know how your week was. Let me know if you gained, if you lost, kind of how you felt when you stepped on the scale this week. Most importantly, what are your goals for the month of April? I can't wait to hear from you. If you are interested in joining my Facebook challenge, it's not too late. Head on over, join my Facebook group. You'll find the information for the spring challenge pinned to the top of my group. So you can definitely still come over and join us. It's three months long, lots of challenges, giveaways, prizes, support, Zoom calls, super, super fun. So if you're interested, head on over and join us. Don't forget to give this video a big, huge thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. I'd love to have you join this community as well. Links, discount codes to all of my favorite things, my Facebook group, and my nutrition coaching website are all down in that description box. Happy Friday, my friends. I hope you have the best day ever, and I'll see you in tomorrow's massive, it's time for Costco again, grocery haul.